Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.1 Beta 4. This came in at a pretty large 2.12 gigabytes, and I think that's because this is probably the final version. Let's take a look at the build number. You'll see this build is 15B92, and usually when they shorten the build numbers like that, it means it's the final version. Normally they're a little bit longer, and I think they're pushing this out pretty quickly because of the hack that was done with Wi-Fi called Crack with a K. Uh, that particular vulnerability affects WPA2 Wi-Fi connectivity uh, and actually is fixed in iOS 11.1 betas. So they're probably going to push this out early next week, I would assume. So it's the 20th, it's Friday, I would assume uh, the 23rd or 24th we'll see this come to the public with all those new emojis and everything like that. Throughout the whole OS, though, uh, there's not really anything new. The feedback app is gone. So again, this kind of points that this is the, the, the gold master or public release. And that's kind of it in this particular release. There's not a whole lot new going on here. I wouldn't really expect anything different out of this release. Uh, everything's working smoothly. 3D touch lag was fixed in the previous beta. And battery life has been really good on beta 3. It was a little bit not so great in beta 1. It got better with beta 2, and so far it's been great this time around. Now I did run a Geekbench, so let's take a look at it. Here we have 4,229 for single core and 10,466 for multi-core. The previous week, or previous beta, had a little bit lower scores for the multi-core, and... Uh, similar single core scores. So I wouldn't really expect to see anything different there. Everything seems to be working well. It's loading quickly. If I go into Twitter, everything comes up nicely. We have the 3D touch on the edge there. So that works well. Uh, I'm not really having any issues with beta three and this one seems to be equally smooth or better minus the feedback app since it doesn't seem to be a beta, like I said. So I think this is the final release. We'll probably see a public release in a few days, and that's about it. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Uh, it was sent over by Connor and Cameron, and this is from the new Huawei Honor 7X. So I'll leave a link where you can pick it up. It looks pretty good, and be sure to check it out. If you want to send me your wallpapers through email or something else, I tend to use vibrant ones, and if I do use yours, I'll give you a shout out. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.